If you don't live in the UK, this is the northwest of England. That's the Scottish border up here. And mainly I'm in the either the Lake District here or the Yorkshire Dales National Park, which is all this sort of area here. So just to give you a clue, there's the Irish Sea and the west coast of England, northwest coast. Yep. Parked at Fairmile Gate here, gone up this path to this junction, then flanked Lynn Hall. Then I've gone zigzagging up here uh, to join up with this path to the coal. And then instead of going over this gully here, which is steep, it's only grass, but it's a very, I found it too exposed for me. So I went up and around the top here and came around to the top of Black Force and little Ulgil Beck. Had a look round here and there's a, a rep here that people do come up. But I decided to just go to the edge here and have a look at black screens of Black Force and take a f pictures there. This is Carling Gill. And uh, I've gone back the way I came to this coal. Then I've gone over Linghor down to here and then down this steep path back i put the grid reference for UK maps there this is an old Roman road the route of well, hello everybody um, I'm up here in the Howgills and uh, just looking down on the, the T-Bay Gorge and there's the T-Bay Gorge out there. And down there, see a little red dot is my car, just at Fairmile Gate. That over there is the Low Gill Viaduct. Uh, right over there is the Scarfells, easily visible. And Coniston Old Man to its left there. And, uh, Outflanking uh, the subsidiary of uh, Fellhead, going down here somewhere, and we'll see how far we get. We're just exploring. If you park at Fairmile Gate, go up a bit, you can, I think, come almost straight up and you'll join up with this high level. I think it's a path, I don't think it's a sheep trod. There's a, the odd, uh, it's well worn enough to be a path. And it saves you dropping down there and going up that ridge. Because what I'm gonna do is come here to the top of that coal up there and head round top of Black Force. Look at those sheep. Oh, you silly sheep. There's some sheep right on the edge of that gully. Oh, you silly boys and girls. I'll tell you what, that was pigging hard work. So I've parked down there at Fairmile Gate and I've gone up towards the main fell head path and then I've flanked round and I've come up these, you can see couple of sheep trods here I've come up that one and then zigzagged up here to this path but there's a path goes down to the bottom of the beck up here and around and that looks like a much better path but further around anyway nearly at the top of the col between fellhead and whatever its subsidiary is I'll put it on the screen uh, you can see dipping strata there. Where are they? Up there. No, down below. There you go. Centre shot.
Right, um, what I was trying to do was see if there was a back door into uh, Black Force, but there isn't. <laughs> uh, I've been up Carling Gill here before, and these are the screes. Uh, I'm going to go down a bit further, see if I can see and get a shot of that. That's the four, the spout, and down there is Black Force. But you're in, uh, I was wondering if you could get down that grass slope, but I mean, it's just not worth it. This is Oldsdale Head up here. Far across there, you can see uh, the Scarfells easily. And I'm not sure Greystones or something that is. Fancy camping up there, that one with a coom in the near distance, uh, just over, over the motorway. That's the M6 down there. Busy today, nice weather. Right, uh, so, and if you come up from uh, Fairmar Gate, up to the coal between Fellhead and its subsidiary, come down here, uh, out flanking Fellhead, there is a path goes down to the beck and then along here. But even that, I don't like the look of that at all. It's very steep sided and a big drop down into that gully. So there is the spout, just about. Sorry, it rhymed. And uh, I'm going to go down a little bit further to that uh, that little brow there and I'll see what I can see from there but from there on I'm going back up you can see how really treacherous it is look at that sheep there's a sheep uh, on that gully shoot there that scree shoot see me and that's up towards the calf See that path going up there? I don't even want to go up that because they go across these gullies here. And there's this uh, strata here goes down into a syncline at the bottom. I'm not even too keen on getting water from here because these grass slopes are sh so steep the sheep lose their footing and fall into the beck. I've seen them down in Carling Gill before. So I'm not even going to get water from here. Uh, I would do. I've got my stove. I can boil it, but I also I'd I'd use uh, water purification tablets as well. That's all Dale Head up there. But uh, no, you can't. You can't. You can't come down these. You you can, but it's risky, and then you've got to get out. Right, so we'll do a bit more exploring. This is Black Force down into here. And this, uh, uh, this arret here, people do come up it, but I'll tell you what, mate, you can have that. I ain't going up there or down it. Uh, and you can see, I was thinking to see if you could come down here and potentially you could so anyway it's not on it's not an option you can see the spout over there and that's old dale head and that's down into carling gill and if you look right in the distance there you can see great gable but uh, uh yeah carling gill nice walk up there uh but I'm trying to get a view of uh, Black Force Squeeze across here. 
because that's real sketchy as well. I'm going to see if I can get a view of it. Right down, you can see right down in there, there is a path, but it goes across those screes. There's a couple of gullies. Right, so uh, been up to the top of Black Force, uh, and uh, I was having a look to see if you could get down that uh, that way a bit further past the force, but not realistic, really. Very, very steep grass slopes, uh, very sketchy. So I could see the spout from where I was, and. Uh, I have to leave Black Force for another day, but I'm, I don't have any head for heights, so I'm going to do it with somebody else when I can go over the Black Force screes and uh, have somebody to hang on to. Anyway, so two thirds of the way down, back off Fell Head, and uh, as with all the paths on the Fell how Gills, they're pretty good paths, but. Uneven underfoot, the grass is always tussocky, you plant your foot and uh, it wobbles about because there's no flat surface. And this goes, as you can tell, really steep grass slope going down here back to uh, Fairmile. And uh, you can just see the car there, down in there, on uh, Fairmile Gate. There's a good, good parking place there. Lots of space. See the lakes over there, Lake District, Scarfelt Pike, out there towards Morecambe Bay, and the M6 motorway, the main uh, north south route on the west west coast of uh, England. Yeah, so uh, that's where I'm parked down in Fairmile Gate. Come up here. Uh, when I went up, I went to this stone here, or just short of it, and traversed around into that gill up to the coal, uh, round fell head and towards the top of Black Force. Now coming down I've come over the subsidiary summit from fell head, and we're down here, really steep, honestly my knees are killing me. Right so I'm down there. Only about a quarter of a mile now. You can hear the motorway. Well, I'm back in Sedba. I've had to go up uh, towards Fellhead and top of Black Force. Um, I was looking to see if there was a way in from that uh, southeast side between the spout and Black Force, but there isn't really. I mean, you could get down with a desperate attempt, but uh, it's too steep and too too dangerous, really. I've had a good day out, really nice day, good views of the lakes. Uh, so, um, the conclusion is, there is no easy way into Black Force. <laughs> Probably the best way is for up Carling Gill. And there's a really exposed section across the screes. Um, which I'm not willing to do on my own. I've no head for heights now. Uh, there's a, the, the path goes right over a, a gully and it's a very narrow path. So I'm going to do it another day. But I've had a great day out and uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.